Hi everyone, with Valentine's Day swiftly approaching, I thought now would be a good time to talk about my fine jewellery favourites and the five pieces of jewellery that I would invest in first if I was starting my jewellery collection from scratch. We were all about dainty minimal jewellery on this channel, which is why all of the pieces today are from Linya. They are my favourite brand when it comes to fine dainty jewellery. And because we are in the Valentine's Day season, they are running a sale. They do have 20% off site one Wide. No code needed. However, I do have a special discount code for you that will get you an additional 5% off, meaning you can get 25% off anything on their website. So make sure to utilize that discount code if you are going to place an order. I'm a firm believer that you don't need an extensive jewelry collection to look put together. You just need a few pieces that mix and match perfectly to create a really timeless look. The first piece on my list is a piece of jewellery that I've never actually owned before up until now, but I've always had on my wish list because I feel like they are the epitome of timeless, elegant jewellery. And that is of course the tennis bracelet. So I have one from Linear to show you today. This one is in sterling silver with cubic zirconia stones. Now traditionally, tennis bracelets were made with diamonds. However, nowadays there are loads of really great options to suit any budget. So Linia do have a diamond option. If you have the money to spend or you really wanna treat someone and you want to go for the diamond route, then they have some beautiful diamond tennis bracelets on their website. These are obviously going to be more expensive, more premium, but they are made of super high quality materials and all the diamonds are lab grown, which means they're completely ethical and conflict free. If on the other hand you're looking for a more affordable but equally beautiful option then this one is such a fantastic buy. This silver version with the cubic zirconia really sparkly stones comes in at under £100 even before the discount. So it's a really affordable way to add a really luxury piece of jewellery to your collection. Another tip for tennis bracelets is that they're a great way to subtly mix metals within your jewellery look. So if you're a little bit nervous of mixing metals usually, a tennis bracelet, because it predominantly is either cubic zirconia or diamonds, so colourless stones, it has that more colourless feel, but it still pairs really beautifully with gold. So if you are typically a yellow gold wearer, but you would like to add some different metals, some different tones to your look, then maybe add a tennis bracelet in either a silver or in a white gold. The second piece of jewellery that I would add if I'm starting my collection from scratch are a pair of huggy earrings. Huggies are the perfect balance between simple, dainty, everyday pieces that still pack a little bit of a punch. They're slightly more interesting than just a plain stud, but they're equally not as big and ostentatious as a larger hoop. I do have some Huggies in today. Again, these are from Linya. These are their Gold Vermeil and Topaz Huggies. Really affordable versions, but they do, again, this is what I love about Linya. They do have a more premium version if that suits your budget. So you can get a very similar version of these in a 14 karat yellow gold with Lab Diamonds. So whatever your budget, you are able to get a similar look. And I love the way these look. I love the way that they do have the colorless stones in them, whether it's the topaz or the diamonds. So they match really well with the tennis bracelet as well. My third piece of jewellery that I would invest in is something with pearls. I think pearls are so timeless, so elegant, and they deserve a place in everyone's jewellery collection. For this particular example, I've chosen a pair of earrings. Again, I love how pearls look on the ears. And these linear hoops are really small, they're really dainty, so they're a subtle way to add pearls into your look. I think wearing a small pearl like this is a little bit more modern than wearing a big string of quite thick chunky pearls, which can feel a little bit dated. One bonus with these earrings is you can actually remove the pearl, so you almost have two earrings in one. If you're only investing in a few high quality pieces of jewellery, then I would really look out for pieces like this that can be worn a couple of different ways. The fact that I can wear these as a small plain hoop if I want a very, very minimal look, but I can add the pearl on super easily to dress them up a little bit is something that I really appreciate from my jewellery. 
Fourth on the list is a pendant necklace. Now, I went back and forth about which style of necklace I would recommend if you were only going to invest in one. There are a few examples that I think could work. For example, I almost said a snake chain necklace like this one from Linnea. I think this could be a great option, but I think if I had to choose just one, I would go with some kind of pendant. I think they are the most timeless and I think they can pair with other necklaces really well when you eventually do invest in other pieces of jewelry along the line, you'll know that you can pair, say, a snake chain necklace with the pendant that you already have. It's the perfect size in my opinion. It's still totally appropriate if you're in a workwear environment where you do have to dress a little bit more formal. I don't like pendant necklaces that are too short. I prefer my shorter necklaces to just be plain chains or snake chains, but I don't like pendants that are too long either because sometimes I feel like those can feel a bit dated. I know those really long pendants were very popular when I was a teenager about 10, 15 years ago. I prefer the more classic look of this mid-length chain. Okay, I'm moving on to the last item on my list. This is going to complete your five piece jewelry set and that would be a bezel diamond ring. Now again with rings there are so many options on the market, there are so many beautiful choices. I will say if you have the budget to just invest in one piece of solid gold jewelry rather than gold vermeil, I would definitely make it a ring. Rings get the most wear and tear of all the jewelry that we own. If you're washing your hands or you're using your hands regularly then having a solid gold ring can have a lot of advantages. Whereas things like necklaces and earrings and even bracelets don't get the same amount of wear and tear that our rings can. It's so lovely and dainty when you wear it on its own but because it is so small and subtle it's perfect to pair with any chunkier rings that you have in your collection. The diamond will also tie in really perfectly with any diamond huggies or topaz huggies that you might have and any tennis bracelets that you're wearing as well. That is my video today. Let me know if you enjoyed. Let me know if you got any inspiration from this video. Remember my discount code with Linea is active currently. It will get you 25% off site wide, including diamonds and including solid gold. So if you are going to invest in your jewelry collection this year, then now is a really, really good time to do so. I will leave all of the items that I'm wearing and the other items I've mentioned linked down below, as well as in the pinned comments. So make sure you check those out. If you're looking for reviews of any of my other Linea pieces, then I can leave a couple of videos on screen for you to watch next. Otherwise, I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!